Hey everyone, it's Lisa and today is Thursday and like I told you, I am going to show you some things that I was sent by Beauty Counter to show for you and demonstrate a glowy, natural look. I was going to do kind of like a beachy look. It would be the same thing, except I decided I'm not going to the beach today. I decided I'm going to go flower shopping. So that would be another occasion that I would just want a fresh face. I would need sunscreen. I would need just a little bit, but not too much. I'm probably gonna have on my sunglasses. And I just wanted to tell you a little bit about this product or this line. Thank you to Beauty Counter for wanting to collaborate with me on this. So the first thing I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna try to show you every single thing they sent me within reason. My favorite products, Man, the lips have been really good. And the first time I ever heard about this product line was I heard that they had awesome bronzers and I knew that they were a very clean, paraben-free, just clean beauty line. Then my mom, who has sensitive skin, even her eyelids, anything, any makeup that she wears, she's very sensitive to it. So she was kind of investigating and looking up all the products and all the beauty lines that had clean beauty. And this is one of them. So that's another reason I wanted to collaborate with them. I believe they were founded back in 2011. They've just gone through a repackaging and everything looks so nice. All the packages are like the cheeks I know are refillable, made from recycled products. And that is their big mission is to not use anything that is harmful to us and our skin, just to make beauty safe, but yet effective and pretty. And I think they've done a good job. So what I'm gonna start off with first is the primer. And I was looking at this this morning. It's a primer that is very hydrating. It's very pretty. It's one of their best sellers. And I was thinking about this. You know, I've been into fragrances lately and they say a good way to make your fragrance last is for your skin to be moisturized. And I believe that's true with your makeup too. You want your skin to be really moisturized. I always thought, well, if your skin is dry, it's going to absorb what you put on it, like your makeup, but that's really not true. It just sits on top of it. And it took me a long time to learn that. This yeah. is a nice, aloe based primer. I don't know if I would use this underneath a tinted moisturizer, but I just wanted to show you how it would look. So it says, you glow first. This innovative serum primer hybrid is formulated with tetrapeptides, responsibly sourced mica, and suspended jojoba ester bubbles for an effortless luminous glow and your best makeup application, it's glow time. So let's put this on. And I did already do my eyebrows because I'm just using the products that they sent me today. This, I didn't want to drag it out too much. So these are the areas right here is where I always lose my makeup. And I'm gonna go ahead and bring it, since I've got plenty, bring it down my neck. Okay, and I always do this, put it on my hands. So that is very cooling, refreshing, and I like that it's not slicky. This morning I put it on this hand and I didn't put it on this hand, and I, it does, as soon as, I would let it dry for 30 seconds or a minute, and you will feel that it will get, you know, just a little bit tacky and ready for your next product. Okay, so this has been repackaged and they have added new shades. The shade that I chose is number four. This is the Dew Skin Tinted Moisturizer Broad Spre I cannot say that word. Broad Spectrum SPF 20. I wanted to put an R in that word too. So let's see. So it comes in this nice, slim, squeezy, modern looking bottle here. And I have used this, I think, two or three times. First, I'm going to squeeze some out and I'm gonna show you the consistency. I love it. It's not too thick, not too thin. It is like, see how it's not dripping down my hand? Now you can do it with a sponge 
it seems like with things like this, I just always do with my hands. So, and it does have sunscreen in it. So, if you get a shade and it looks a little bit too light, it will kind of, um, I think that's a perfect shade. It will kind of acclimate to your skin. It feels really good. Now I have redness. It smells really good too. It smells, just smells like natural ingredients. You know what I mean? It just smells a little, maybe a little herbally, not sweet or anything. Okay, so you can see that gave me good I went ahead and got my wipes out today. That gave me good color. It gives me sunscreen and it just kind of brings some life to my face. And with me, it helps my face match my body a little bit more. Okay, so it's up to you. If you are dry skin or you don't live in a humid climate, you may not need to set. I live in a very humid climate and I have oily skin. So I'm going to set this real quick and I'll be right back. Okay, so here we go into the cream blushes. I chose, I chose everything that you see here. They let me choose the colors. I chose Havana, Rosebud, and Cider, which is, there are three colors that you would imagine. Matter of fact, let me pull these up real quick. Okay, so Havana is Carnation Pink, and I think this is the one I've used because I kind of messed up the box here. But like I said, it is, it's really sleek, nice packaging. It's not like you're sacrificing the nice packaging or the pigment or anything just because it's so clean. And here it is, so pretty. So this is a carnation pink. And the next shade I got is cider. Let's see, cider is a soft peach. Okay, I don't think I've used this one. Can't believe it. So that is your soft peach. And then this one is rosebud. And this is the brightest one out of the ones that I chose. This is a rose pink. Okay, so let me swatch them on my hand and see if I can get a good swatch for you. Rosebud, rose pink. Here, I'll just do it on my fingertips. And then this one is Havana, which was carnation pink. Yeah, that'll be good to be able to tell the difference. So the first one, rosebud is darker, and then cider is the soft peach. Rosebud, Havana, and cider. So you can see rosebud is definitely the brightest. Okay, so let's start off with cider, which is the peachy color. I'm gonna get a little bit on my brush. I've already used this, so I know it's not gonna be way too bright. So I'm gonna use this on the tops of my cheeks. Like that. Very pretty. Okay, now, let me wipe my brush off here. Let's use a little bit of Havana, which is the softer pink. And I'm gonna use that right here. Can you see it? Oh, I think I like that better than the peach. Because that just livens up your face. Okay, now <laughs> I'm gonna use rosebud. And rosebud is the darkest or brightest. But in the summer, that's good. Okay, so let's go into rosebud. And I'm gonna use rosebud back here. Very pretty. I think my favorite is Havana. There we go. Wow. Let's put a lip on because I will switch out some lips. I wore this the other day, I'll put a picture in here and it was so pretty and just so easy to wear and it is their let's see it's not the gloss it was a clear 
conditioning lipstick. It's pearl and it's really cool. I ended up wearing a lip liner with it, so let me try to get that off. And let me see if I can swatch it. I don't think I can, but it's literally like a clear with a little bit of a pearl. And feels so good. Does not feel too slicky. Perfect, perfect balmy texture. So that is one of the lips that I have loved. And let's go ahead and try another one just because I wanna, I'm scared if I do anything too bright, it's gonna stain my lips. But I want to show you this one that I used the other day, it was Rose. And this is the Sheer Genius Conditioning Lipstick. Like all of their products have true like skincare ingredients that will help your skin and help your lips stay moist. And that, I wore that the other day and I was thinking that is such a good summer color. It's just bright enough for me that it looks good. You know, a lot of times I don't have on any make I makeup, but I want a good lip and that gives me just enough color on the lip. So that is rose. And then let's go ahead and do the last one in this conditioning Sheer Genius lipstick. Yeah, that color. <laughs> and this is more of a beigey color. This is beigey pink. This is twig. There we go. So this is more of your nude, your neutral nude. Okay, so now let's go on to the two eye colors that they sent me. These are called the Lid Glow Cream Shadows. I'm anxious to share one of these or both of these with my mom because she has the hardest time finding eyeshadows that don't flake into her eyes or don't irritate her eyelids. The colors I chose are Sepia and Twinkle. One of them is a bronzy brown type shade, and then one of them is more of a taupey shade. So, okay, so sepia is more of the bronzy tone, and then twinkle is more of the taupey tone. Let's do more of the bronzy tone. And I'm gonna go, I kinda like to just sculpt out my eyes like that. And then I will, it blends really nicely. I'll kind of take my finger like that. Hello, Bubba. He just let himself in. And then I usually like to take a little bit like that. Okay, now let's do another lip because I'm determined I'm showing you these lip glosses. So I just put on a little bit of my favorite lip liner. Let's do, oh my gosh, they're all so pretty. The lip glosses are gorgeous. The colors I chose are Magnolia Shimmer, Brulee, and in the video yesterday, everybody loved my lip color and it's Bare Shimmer. So I want to start with the lightest one first. Is this another one that I got? Oh, this is Peony. This one isn't a shimmer. Okay, so I'll at least swatch all of them. But let's start with Brulee because that one is another nice light one that I know you guys would love. Oh my goodness, you guys. You have to. You have to get some of these lip glosses. They are the best, some of the best lip glosses I have tried in a while, in a long time. Okay, so I'm gonna leave that on for a minute and then we're gonna talk about the mascara. This is their Think Big All-in-One Mascara and it is right up my alley. There's no carbon black in it. It's just natural ingredients and natural ingredients to make it really dark black. And it has the kind of wand that I like. So. Mm. 
And I usually just do one. Coating first. I don't worry about thickening the first time. I just worry about coating each lash. I'm gonna let it sit just for a minute. I'm gonna take off this lip gloss because I have to show you the other one. So that first one was Brulee. This is Bare Shimmer. And they wear well. They, they're just really good. So that one is more of our nude. This is so classic Lisa. This is like perfect. And I think it would go with just like any lip liner that you put it with. You could put it with more of a rosy, more of a brown, more of a peachy. Okay, now let's do, I love this mascara package here. Okay, now is when I start kind of crisscrossing and stuff like that because I like mine kind of clumpy like that. but that's up to you. Okay, and I guess for today, I'll put a little bit on the bottom. I'll blot the bare shimmer off in this one. I think I wore this the other day. If I took a picture, I will put it up. Uh, naturally, I feel a cat hair on my lips. This is so, if you've been with me from the beginning, this is like my old school color. It's kind of like a rose shimmer color. Just perfect. Even over your favorite lipstick, you would love these. They are just beautiful. They have like that mirror shine, but they're not goopy. They're not necessarily plumping, but I think because they smooth your lips, they make your lips look plump. And then I'll show you Peony. And this one is just more of a cream shade. They feel so good. They feel like something you would put on your lips at night. So good. Okay guys, I think that's it. So you will have to let me know down below your favorite product from today. And I'll do a quick outfit of the day. Like I said, I'm gonna do some plant shopping. I'm not gonna do a lot. I'm gonna try not to get too crazy out there because everything needs to be watered so much, but I want some hibiscus for my front porch. So today I just have on a simple little tank dress and it would look so much better with wedges, but I just am gonna wear my, and then I'm just gonna wear my Javianas that have the print. And then for accessories, I just have on some stud earrings and a ring that my parents gave me and my Chanel watch. And I think that's it. And my fragrance of the day is the Chapard, I always think about their watches. Their ha I don't know if you've ever seen their happy sport watches. I've always wanted one of those. But I ordered this from the company. It's an old, old fragrance. It's very sweet. If you love tuberose, I think you would love this, but it's supposed to be like a sweet apricot with peach, coconut. It's just a very sweet fragrance and I'm gonna see how it wears today. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you to Beauty Counter for sending me these products and partnering with me on this look and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.